Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and I'm here on DevBuild 27.0. Uh, and I would like to talk to you about heroes. Heroes rework. Uh, heroes now can reach level 80. Of course, if you have it level 20, it will be converted to level 80 automatically. But I would like to talk to you about some reworks, some nerfs, some buffs, and of course, new heroes uh, upgrade abilities with each level uh, you will receive a hero point of some sort and then you can spend those hero points on uh, heroes ability upgrades so i will try to explain you uh, in details uh, how does the process work and overall uh, let's talk about heroes all right so first thing first let's talk about hero upgrades uh, uh, on abilities basically uh, i will showcase that on a necro i maxed it on level 80 uh, just to show you how the upgrade process is uh, and will be uh, most likely of course if nothing changes uh, coming into the live server so the upgrades as you can see we have a tree of upgrades uh, in the ability section and as you can see at the top right corner you have 80 ability points uh, of your hero and uh, you get one point for each level basically now uh, uh, it is much easier to upgrade your hero level by level uh, you don't it doesn't require you to have for example 20 or 30 uh, shards of your uh, hero now it is much less of course and for each upgrade we get that one point so basically uh, it allows us to show how much it will give us on the max level and uh, so yeah and we can all always reset those abilities once we spend at least one of them and uh, just a note for everyone wondering if you have level max which is level 20 in the old system or level 80 in the new system you will have all the abilities maxed uh, so don't worry about it you don't have to think what ability do, do i have to upgrade what's better, what's worse, what I don't have to upgrade. If you have it level max, all abilities will be maxed as well. So, so basically, uh, for example, on level uh, first Necro, uh, we have three abilities to upgrade. As you can see, Trap Duration is not to be upgraded. Um, so, for example, I want to upgrade my Days Duration. Uh, let's give it five points. As you can see, cool animation is uh, during the upgrade. And as you can see, I gave it five points. And now if I want to upgrade it further, then it requires me to spend additional five points somewhere else in some other ability. So for example, I don't know, let's uh, upgrade duration of the effect on units. So let's give it five points as well. Why not? And now, as you can see, uh, with 10 points spent, the second ability has been unlocked. Uh, so now we can either upgrade, continue upgrading our first abilities or go to level 10 abilities and upgrade them as well. As you can see here, we have only two, two uh, abilities to upgrade. So for example, let's give it uh, five points here. As you can see, not every ability after five upgrades requires you to spend your uh, tokens, points, whatever you want to call it, somewhere else in some, what, some other ability. So, uh, I don't know, let's give the instant kill chance five more points. As you can see, now you don't need also uh, to spend other coins, points, whatever. Uh, so let's spend on day's duration and see if it's going to yes. Like I said, now it requires our asked to spend five more somewhere else so let's give it to ghost's health to five points and now new ability is unlocked so now if you go here as you can see we have three abilities so let's continue with the pattern uh, let's give five points each requires me to have 60 points spent so 15 more Let's give five for each. And as you can see, now I need to spend 15 more um, points 
in my level 10 abilities and level 1 abilities. So let's continue with the pattern. Let's upgrade my level 1 abilities and to have it unlocked on level 15 in the old system or level 60 in the new system, I need to spend 5 more. Same goes for the level uh, 30 or level 10 in the old system abilities, I need to spend 5 more, which I only have one ability now. So as you can see, all, abil all abilities needs to be maxed uh, to level 50, to unlock level 15 ability in old system or level 60 in the new system. So basically let's upgrade it. Of course I can upgrade it uh, here. Uh, I can choose how many upgrades I want. So let's do that as well. And as you can see level 60 ability has been unlocked. And now uh, also these two have been unlocked as well and as you can see I have 20 more points uh, here I can spend only 10 and I don't need to invest in these two as well so uh, let's upgrade these two first so as you can see I have 10 points left to unlock level uh, 80 or level 20 in the old system which is the second wind ability I have to spend them as well but that doesn't mean uh, that the level 15 in the old system or level 16 in the new system cannot be uh, cannot be upgraded basically. Uh, so you can upgrade them first unless they require you to spend more points. I'm guessing it's only my guess, wild guess. Uh, I'm not gonna test it on every hero right now, but each hero is different. For example, for Zeus, Fortuna, Necro, Mermaid, and for example, Flicker, it might be different. For example, you will not be able to upgrade your level 15 in the old system, level 16 in the new system abilities on Zeus because it will require you to upgrade some other abilities first. That's the only example. It is not true. It is only an example. So yeah, let's upgrade them to max and the new level 20, level 80 ability uh, has been unlocked. And there is no more to upgrade basically. So hopefully now you will understand how the upgrading system of uh, hero abilities works and it will be all clear for you. Let's jump into another topic. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions, you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Alright, so now some heroes has been changed, some heroes had been reworked, some heroes has been nerfed and buffed. So let's talk about it. First hero that I would want to talk about is Captain. Captain, as you can see, I cannot level it to max. Sadly, they didn't give me enough fragments to level it max. Uh, but I will uh, compare it to the live server uh, as we go. Uh, fortunately, I can uh, max my abilities here. Uh, so I can show you what has been changed. So first thing first, trap duration has been nerfed from 8 seconds to 5.5 seconds. Sadly, uh, for captain players, uh, I think it can change a lot because the trap, whenever it is on the board, it gives you additional bonuses, such as attack speed, uh, uh, I think damage and other buffs as well. Let's continue. Level 10 ability now is I think it is unchanged. Yes, it is unchanged. Area damage is the same. Critical damage chance is also the same. So nothing here to talk about. And uh, now the damage increase from team boost from level now 30 ability. Uh, old will be a level 10 ability. The damage increased is reduced by 4%. In the live server it is 5, 15%. In the dev build it is 11%. Of course, once again, the numbers can change going into the live server, so don't worry. For now, it is only some base damage, 
It might change due to the feedback given by content creators such as me, Godlike Mike, A Friend, Aleppo, and others. All right, uh, let's continue. Next ability, level 15 or level 60 now. Uh, it has been not changed. Uh, yes, the numbers has not been changed, so that's okay. Let's jump into uh, Bestie. Bestie has been buffed. To my surprise, Bestie. I didn't see any Bestie players in my in my games, uh, but yeah, I play on the higher crit. Uh, but let's see. First ability. Um, area damage has not been changed, uh, buff duration has been buffed from 16 seconds to 24.5 seconds. Damage increased has been buffed from 55% to 62.5% and now the old information in this talent, in this ability sorry, is deals damage to monster and temporarily increases the damage of three allied units at level 10 and 20 increases the number of units by one so then back then uh, it required you to have level 10 and level 20 uh, of bestie to increase the number of units uh, buffed by this ability now you won't need it although most likely you will have to uh, unlock it by having points and uh, now it is only inflicts damage on monsters and temporarily increases the damage of several allied units and as you can see on the max level number of units is five so it is the same uh, the question is uh, how much points you will have to unlock for this to be good all right next ability um in the old system, when activated during PvP, this ability temporarily reduces the attack speed of 3 enemy units. In co-op, it temporarily increases the attack speed of 3 ally units. And, of, and again, at level 10 and level 20, the number of units increases by 1. Now, uh, when the ability is activated, it's basically the same information, but as you can see, uh, the change in attack speed is 30%. Basically, the, the attack speed reduction in the old uh, s version uh, doesn't say the attack speed increase, sadly. Uh, so we don't see that. And the buff duration, it is also not shown. So I can't really tell you if anything changed in here because it is not given to me. Um, I would assume it is the same. But everything can change. So let's not guess now let's uh, go for the another ability uh, chance to repeat when soul music and bat tune end there is a chance the unit will receive the effect again uh, in the old version it was 25 percent to chance chance to repeat and now in the devil it's 35 percent chance quite huge 10 percent chance in my opinion if you are playing bestie it's quite good 10 percent chance and level 15 ability uh, chance to get when a unit appears it has the chance to receive the effect of soul music and bad tune now back then it was 25 percent now it is changed to 34 percent uh, which is another additional nine percent um honestly my honest thoughts um if you are like three thousand four thousand five thousand crit even 2000 crit there are better heroes than bestie bestie is a common hero even on level 20 i wouldn't give it mm, like high chances to win at two three four thousand crit even um so yeah but it is a nice buff for maybe some beginners maybe some for for the new players who doesn't have rare and epic heroes yet that's all right like i don't think i need to comment on that more Another hero that has been changed is Jay, and Jay has been nerfed, like I, like they said. Uh, so let's let's talk about it. Uh, first ability, uh, crack shot. The Jay starts uh, to fire rapidly at first target in in its path, inflicting area damage. The hero's arrows reduce the monster armor. Da 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 da. You know all about it. Now, what has been changed is, uh, in this ability, I don't see any changes. The armor reduction limit is... Okay, the armor reduction limit has been decreased from 40% to 30%. Uh, shot damage has not been changed. Uh, critical damage chance also. 
and armor destruction also. So basically the limit of armor destruction has been nerfed by 10%. Uh, next, wind speed has been reduced. Attack speed increased has been reduced from 40% uh, to 30%. The number of tiles uh, has not been changed, as you can see. Yeah, it's uh, four tiles as it was before. Uh, next ability, next ability, next ability. Uh, I already see something new. Uh, shot change has not been nerfed, unit damage has not been changed, shot chance has not been nerfed, uh, but the repeat attack chance uh, has been nerfed by 10%. It was 65%, now it's 55%. So, a little bit of nerf here and on level 15, talent, so level 60 new, uh, new ability. And um, what has been changed, I already see that attack speed increase has been reduced by 5% from 20 to 15 and units damage increase the same from 20% to 15% so by 5%. Nothing else has been nerfed. I mean it's quite huge nerf in my opinion to Jay. Jay is by far the best rare hero in my opinion. Uh, it is far superior to elementalist and trickster. And now it has been nerfed quite a quite a lot. Like here, two two of them, two of those has been nerfed. Uh, here, a sudden shot repeat chance has been nerfed. The attack speed increase from wind speed has been reduced, and the armor reduction limit has also been reduced. So all far four abilities of J has been nerfed. It's my opinion quite a huge nerf. Um, so all J players. My condolences. All right, another hero that has been uh, changed is Gadget. Gadget has been buffed. Finally, Gadget has been buffed. Uh, Gadget has been forgotten for a very long time now. Uh, so let's see what has been changed. Slow target percentage has not been nerfed. Area damage has been buffed <laughs> by Astronomus number two hundred and fifty. <laughs> Uh, but, 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 damage increase for your units from those special gadget tiles has been increased by 10.5%. Wow. Okay, that's quite a lot. Wow. 10.5% damage increase. Jesus, that's a lot. Assuming you, you would have uh, 15 tiles with those uh, gadget tiles. Wow, that's that's a lot. I'm quite surprised. And, look, and now it shows the slow duration is five seconds. Uh, it didn't show in the live server. All right, next ability. Next ability has not been changed. It is the same 25% attack speed from the tiles. And uh, next ability, uh, the crit damage chance has not been changed at all. And uh, what about the gold tiles? Gold tiles is the same, basically the same. Uh, nothing has changed. But in my opinion, the the first ability, 35% on max level, of course. Wow, that's a lot. 10.5% for each tile. And to think about it, the gold tiles doubled those numbers. So back then, if you had gold tiles, it was 24.5% times 2. So it was, if my math is correct, it was 49%. Now it's going to be 70% more damage increase. 70%. I think now it will be the highest damage increase from all heroes, if I'm correct. That's... That's a lot. Wow, okay. That's a huge, huge gadget, gadget buff, in my opinion. Uh, all right. Next hero that has been changed is Mermaid. Mermaid has been nerfed. Uh, sadly to all Mermaid enjoyers. Um, so, the number of units has not been changed at max level. Generate mana is also not been changed. Bubble duration not changed, but the damage increase has been buffed by 1%. Okay, 1% is not much uh, and for for Mermaid it, it was never for the damage increase and uh, just so you know. Uh, next ability, I already know that it has been nerfed. 
And you may ask, like at max level, sure, activation chance is 100%, but if I press it here, it's 40%. So with each level, you will increase the activation chance of uh, getting your bubble whenever a negative effect uh, is uh, is on your unit. So basically, when a unit re uh, when a unit receives a bubble, it has a certain chance of removing its ne negative effect by destroying the bubble. So basically, if you have a bubble, now it has only a chance of removing its negative effect and then destroying the bubble. Back then in the live server, now it always removes the negative, negative effect while when the unit receives a bubble. That's a huge part in my opinion. Huge, huge part in my opinion. Because unless you have it maxed, Mermaid is really becoming weak. Wow. All right. Uh, and also, uh, this ability also has been nerfed uh, from 25% attack speed increase to 20.5% increase. Um, for the level uh, 15 or level 60 ability in the new system, a new thing has been added. Uh, critical damage of units in a bubble will be increased. So basically, it's not only a critical damage increased, improved, now it also uh, increases your critical damage uh, by 15%. In the old system, it wasn't there at all, so it is something new. All right, uh, another changed hero is Jake Paul. To my surprise, they did buff Jake Paul. The reason was uh, that they understand that you cannot require Jake Paul, but uh, uh it is unfair for him to be epic hero and be this week compared to other epic heroes so let's see what has been changed uh, boxer damage has not been changed unit damage increased uh, has been buffed by 0.25 percent at max uh, damage increased by likes has not been uh, changed heroes duration also not changed and next ability uh, max unit damage increase has not been changed unit damage increase also has not been changed next ability anything changed nothing and level 15 ability chance of activation is the same photo shoot duration is the same so basically by 0.25% 0. 0. it has been buffed for the light I'm guessing it is for the like. The ability can be reactivated. Mm -hmm. Magic and boosting units rank will earn likes. Increasing hero damage receiving 40 likes will increase units damage. Yeah, so basically whenever you get 40 likes, it will increase your units, all, all your units damage by 19.75%. Yeah, but that's not a lot. It's still going to be weak in my opinion. The buff is just not, not it to be played. All right, and the final hero that has been changed, it has been reworked, re reworked entirely. It is Emen Elementalist. I can't even talk anymore. Elementalist. Now, uh, the hero ability creates a fire vortex. Now, that will burn monsters or a fireball that will stun them temporarily. Uh, strength tends the, the effect from the activation of the next three tiles. Elemental... Elemental tiles appear on the battlefield and are activated by merging or charging unit ranks. A fire tile will summon a fireball to inflict damage on the area. And an enchanted tile will unleash a meteorite to bring monsters to a standstill. A storm tile will create three plush splashes of water which will generate mana and an enchanted one will summon three lightning bolts to inflict critical damage on the strongest monster. Okay, so they go with uh, by uh, with merging, basically. Now you will have those special tiles. Even the special tiles can be enchanted. And uh, as you can see, it's 40 mana received. Fire damage is 250 at max, 3000 damage. And number of tiles are four. Okay. Uh, next ability, the effect of a fire tile is guaranteed to inflict critical damage on a burning, burning monster with a chance of the monster being set fully ablaze. Critical damage to a burning monster is of course increased. The effect of a storm tile has a chance of generating more mana 
The enchanted effect attacks monsters in the area around the target and will per periodically stun them temporarily. Okay, and chance of the burning is 50%, chance of receiving extra mana is 30 and critical damage increase is by, by 27.5%. Uh, next ability, uh, the damage inflicted by all abilities will increase with each wave, up to a total of 10 times. The enchanted effect of a fire tile can cause a burning monster to explode, inflicting damage on neighboring monsters. Uh, and splashes of water onto units as a part of the effect of the storm tile will temporarily increase their attack speed. Uh, and those are the statistics. Increase in the damage per wave 25. In okay, speed increase. Okay. And final ability, there is an increase in damage to all monsters under the effect of the meteorite from the enchanted fire tile. Each lightning strike from the enchanted storm tile uh, effect inflicts extra damage on the main target, depending on health. Also, we have health uh, percentage damage. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have it shown yet. Uh, but as you can see... Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why it is... Uh, why it is... If it's, if it's going to be good or not. Maybe, maybe, I'm not entirely sure now, I would have to test it out and see if it's good or not, uh, but that's the Elementalist rework, so that's it for all the heroes, changes, uh, buffs, nerfs and reworks. Alright, and that would be it for all the hero changes, of course, now is a hero expedition, uh, if you go to quests and you go to dailies and expedition, you can send your heroes with some support team of units to your expeditions and there you have a huge chance to get uh, your hero, a bit, a hero, epic hero fragments and of course you have a chance to get that relic chest. The, 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 the stronger the expedition, the higher chance you get your relic chest. And you can do it daily. Um, daily you get 5 expeditions. So basically you can join all expeditions. And just for your information, these expeditions can change. Yesterday when I uh, firstly opened Death Build, it was 2 epic ones, 2 rare ones and 1 legendary. Now as you can see it's 3 rare, 1 epic and 1 legendary. I would only assume that the legendary one will stay all the time daily. But it is only my guess. Maybe they do it on, only on the weekends, maybe it will stay all the time, maybe it will change only for epic and prayers. We never, we, will, we just don't know that yet. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys like the idea of the change of hero reworks for the buffs, for nerfs, for reworks. For expedition, I'm honestly, personally hyped for that. It is something uh, that was very needed, especially the expedition feature in the game. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys like it. Like, subscribe and comment down below your thoughts. And yeah, see you guys in the next Death Field videos. Hey there, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.